So you probably have heard of a cobbler, right? And you think of maybe a peach cobbler, a cherry cobbler. Well, I came across something, uh, it's been a couple of months ago, but I researched it more and it's out there. It's actually called a chicken cobbler and it's, uh, it's good. I had a bite of it yesterday, so I figured, you know what, let's make it, let's make it for you today. Let's start ingredient-wise, first things first here. It's more really of a fancy chicken pot pie, if you will. So the ingredients you see I'm using here won't make a lot, so I'll post the full recipe for you on tristatehomepage.com under the Joe's Kitchen section. Since I don't have a full stove here, I cannot use a 9 by 13 pan. So you'll see less ingredients than what it'll actually call for. But the first thing we're going to start with is we will use... Um, Cream of chicken soup. Now there's not much in here, but we're gonna call for a whole can of that. We're also gonna just, instead of just doing, you know, boiled chicken shredded apart, you know what? Let's make it more flavorful. Let's throw in some rotisserie chicken. This is a rotisserie chicken that has been shredded, which uh, you can buy a rotisserie chicken and do it yourself, or you can actually buy it where the store shreds it and packs it for you. Just keep in mind, you're gonna pay more money when you do that. We're also gonna throw some vegetables in there. You can get the, uh, the vegetable medley of corn, carrots and green beans. You can get it frozen or you can use the canned version. Either will work. I won't tilt this too much because it has heavy cream in it. Yes, we are using Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix today. That's going to be the dough on top. And I apologize. You would think when you say Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits that I would buy some cheddar cheese. Totally slipped my mind to buy cheddar cheese. But if you don't have any, that's fine. You can still use other cheeses. I'm just going to throw some Parmesan in there. That's what I had at the house. Chicken broth and a little bit of thyme in there, too. That's some dry thyme. So the first thing you're going to do here is grab a bowl, and you're going to mix all of your ingredients together with some butter on the bottom and do some salt and pepper as well. But keep in mind, you might want to back off the salt and pepper uh, if you have high blood pressure or something like that um, because your rotisserie chicken has already been seasoned. Salt and pepper is going to be in there, so we don't want to overdo it. But if you want more, once you're eating it, by all means, throw it in there. So we've got the butter here in the bottom, which is about two tablespoons of butter. After that, we're going to start just really mixing everything together. So you'll have a big mixing bowl at the house when you put this together, should you wish to, and you're going to put in that entire can of the um, condensed cream of chicken soup. Then we're going to throw in that rotisserie chicken. Now, if you do buy it where it's already pre-shredded, sometimes they have really big chunks in there of the chicken breast. You'll have to grab that uh, out and you'll have to kind of shred it up a little bit more. But just go ahead and kind of check it. All my clumps are good, so we're we are fine to go there. Now we're going to throw in uh, the vegetables with this. Again, go with frozen if you want, or you can go with the canned version. They make the vegetable medley the same uh, either way. I, I prefer the frozen one on this one, but that is totally up to you. And then we're going to put in some cream, some heavy cream with this, because why not? I mean, seriously, that's all we have to say. Why not throw some heavy cream in there? So you can see we're still getting everything nice into the bowl. We'll give it a little stir to kind of start getting a few things mixed up. Again, the cheddar cheese, you're gonna go with that. Unfortunately, like I said, it just slipped my mind to buy cheddar cheese. So Parmesan's gonna be just fine. I've got some thyme that we're gonna throw a little bit of thyme in there, and then just to kind of thin things out just a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of chicken broth. We may need to add some more later. Uh, we'll see once we get everything stirred up. So I'm not going to add any more broth because this looks to be really good as it is. So now that you've got your bowl here and everything is mixed up nice and evenly, just like so, you're going to put this into your baking dish. So again, the recipe that I have for you online relatively soon, uh, hopefully by today, but no promises there, uh, is going to call for a 9 by 13 baking dish. So that's a done deal. You're done with your mixture. You can put that off to the side for just a second. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix. They actually make a couple different versions, just like a garlic one. I think I saw three different kinds, but get the Cheddar Bay Biscuit. It's, gonna, it's, it's just fantastic. If you love Red Lobster, you know the biscuits there are fantastic. You are going to make the biscuit mix as the box says to do. So if it says to add the water in there, add the cheese, that's exactly what you're going to do. And you'll mix it up, but not a whole lot because you don't want it to, to get too worked over because doughs can do that. Doughs can get worked over and they don't like to work very well. So this is the mix right here. You can see, yep, it is pretty thick. It is doughy, kind of sticks to the finger just a little bit. So that's how you know your consistency is right. You know, you're not talking anything runny where if you turn it upside down, it falls out. Nope, we're not going to do that. 
So once you get your dough ready and you've already got your mixture here in your baking dish, you're going to take clumps of the dough and put that on the very top and coat it pretty evenly. I wouldn't say coat the entire thing, but at least get that coated. And then inside the box is also going to be uh, that really nice sauce they put there on the top. Uh, that So that's what I have here in this container. Uh, they give you a packet of that and you melt some butter and you mix the two together. Once it's all said and done, that's all you have to do to put this together. Then you put it into the oven. So like I mentioned, I don't have uh, a baking dish or an oven big enough for this. I've already made a small batch. I'll make another one here relatively soon. But what you're looking at here basically is a nice fancy version of a pot pie. We'll put that off to the edge here. Put my glove on so I don't burn myself. But there you go. Oop, that's hot. There you go. That is how you get yourself a chicken cobbler, a Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Chicken Cobbler. And don't worry, I didn't burn myself. It's just hot, that is for sure. Fresh out of the air fryer there. I'll dish some of this up. I'll bake some more. We'll have Ron try it out coming up next.